I love making maps. When you make a map, you describe the world around you. You can model it exactly, or you can you can model it thematically. You know, and so in that way, there's interpretation for how you observe the world around you, and what you want to uh, show to your reader, to your audience, and that drives the type of maps that we make. <laughs> My, my mentor, Dr. Yannicka Visser, was mapping the coastal vegetation using helicopters. And so we were, we were thinking, well, well, if you could do it looking, hanging out over a helicopter, looking at the, the, the ground, well, we should be able to do it with a drone, right? And so that's kind of how it all got started. So we started with the Geo7X to collect geospatial data from the field, and then we bought a drone to collect aerial photography, and then UAS Master to do the photogrammetry, and eCognition for object-based image analysis on the back end. And then we have the products that we can bring into our GIS or our CAD environment for further analysis and cartography. Ultimately, we settled on UAS Master, which we like because it produces beautiful, true ortho mosaics in the sense that the original imagery is stitched together and the radiometry is balanced well, and so it's, it, it produces a really good product for the object-based image analysis, which was the next step that we evolved into. It says, okay, well, we have these wonderful, beautiful ortho mosaics. Well, what are, now what are we going to do with them? The spectral variability within a high-resolution data set is incredible. When you have such a small pixel size, for example, a centimeter or two and a half centimeters, it's easy to capture lots of shadows. It's easy to capture lots of tones in the greens and the browns of different vegetation or the grays of asphalt. And so you can't use just a simple spectral signature to tell whether or not a pixel is either asphalt or water, right? Or the shadow of a tree. And so by using eCognition, we're able to generate objects that are able to group those shadows of the leaves into a tree canopy, or the different shades of gray into a road object, right? Or the, the different darknesses of, of water into a canal or a lake. And so then it's easy to say, oh, well, that object is water, that object is asphalt road, that object is the crown of a tree. Having an extra product and an extra service that can improve the monitoring capabilities, that can improve the decision making, and can uh, add another layer of information to the process. You know, it gives a small consulting firm uh, something else to, to offer. And particularly for clients that maybe we hadn't had before, you know, so, and it keeps us on the, cu on the cutting edge.